Hey guys, welcome back to Short Shift ZW. Today we're reviewing the 2022 BYD E6, a car that has been turning heads in the EV market. That's right, and we're going to tell you everything you need to know before you consider buying this one. Let's start with the build quality. The E6 is solidly built with high quality materials used throughout the exterior and the interior. It's impressive how well this car is put together, uh, but we can tell you BYD has put a lot of effort into ensuring the car is well constructed. Yes, let's uh, start off uh, with the interior. Inside the car, the seats are comfortable. And there's plenty of leg room for both driver and passenger. The infotainment system is easy to use. And the car has a lot of features that make it a pleasure to be in. The infotainment system is top notch with a large touchscreen display that is easy to navigate. Yes, you can easily connect your phone to the car and the sound system is great to listening to music. Although Mungu does not know how to connect his phone to the system. It takes time. Right, let's look at the ride quality. The ride quality is smooth and comfortable, with the car gliding over bumps in the roads with ease. It is definitely a really good car, now, especially if you then realize that uh, you won't have any problems running out of juice. Yeah, you definitely won't. Let's look at the electric range. The E6 has an impressive electric range of up to 500 kilometers on a single charge. Well, that's more than enough uh, to get you where you want to go. And where you need to go without worrying. I'll say it again. About running out of juice. Charging times. How long does it take to charge this car? Whole battery. Like whole a whole battery. car battery. Yeah. How long? Charging the car is quick and easy. With the ability to charge from 0 to 80 in just an hour. Using a fast charger. One hour? What, yes. what are you talking about? What, my Samsung doesn't charge in an hour. This car charges in an oh, hour. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. And if you're using a regular charger, you can fully charge the car in about... Eight hours. I was waiting for you to say that. So it's either an hour or eight hours. Yeah, according to the script, you're supposed to say that. That, that That's a whole contrast. All right. Eight hours. All right. Okay. All right. Cool. Most likely, you'll probably be charging for eight hours. Yes, eight hours. In like Zim. overnight. In Zim. Yes. With Cesar. Yes. Okay. Gosh. I hear it's compatible with AC and DC chargers. Yes, it is. Uh, so you'll have a lot of uh, options when it comes to charging the cars. Now let's take a look at uh, likes and dislikes. So what do we like about the E6? Well, we love the sleek design and the impressive electric range. The infotainment system is top notch and the ride quality is smooth and comfortable. Plus, the charging times, if you're considering the quick charge, mm -hmm. are quick and easy. Yeah, quick and easy. Uh, what don't we like? Now, we let's... don't like the fact that it's eight-hour charge when you're doing the proper charge. The proper charge could be the fast charger. No, no, I don't, I don't think the fast charger is quite that efficient. Okay, so three-pin charger, eight hours. That's your problem. That's the biggest problem. All right. What other thing do we uh, not like? Well, let's talk about... <laughs> uh, the price it's around fifty thousand united states dollars and that's just the purchase price we haven't even talked about duty this guy is nowhere near uh the kind of car you can purchase for 50k yeah uh if you had 50k yeah 50k is around the same price for um a mercedes benz isn't it yeah a yeah. really good one an e-class an, an e-class a very good e-class in fact all right. Yeah. So, so at the end of the day, and you, 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 even you can even, I mean, if you add a couple of thousand dollars, mm -hmm. you can get a fortune. But in this zone. is electric, and in the long run, it will saves be you on fuel. juice. There you go. Yeah. So uh, let's uh, look at something else. Uh, the handling can be a bit sluggish at times. Plus, the car's weight can make it feel a bit cumbersome. Yeah, it can. Uh, the car's acceleration can be a bit slow. Yeah. Extremely slow. That's plus, the car's weight. That's that's not acceleration is great. It's got instant torque. Or whatever. But well it can be a bit Which slow. which which uh, oh never mind. That's like, what you wrote here. The car's acceleration <laughs> can be a bit slow. <laughs> and the handling can be a bit sluggish at times. <laughs> yeah, but you're not supposed to read everything that I write. <laughs> like you you drove this car, didn't you? It can be a bit slow. <laughs> oh gosh. 
is this a good car or is it not? Overall, the BYD E6 is a solid choice for anyone in the market for an electric car. The fact that it's 50K can be a bit of a problem, but the fact still remains. Mm. Uh, it is the cheapest electric car you will find uh, with the range that you have uh, anywhere near Southern Africa. Yeah, uh, that is very true. And in the long run, like we said earlier on, it will be cheaper. Way, 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 people. way, way, way more cheaper. Now that we know there's Wange 7 and 8, most likely the 8-hour charging Will happen. Happen. Yeah, will happen. Yeah. Will happen. Yeah. So okay. that's the idea. So guys, thanks you so much for watching. And be sure to hit the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up if you liked this video. And don't forget to leave a comment letting us know what you think of the BYD E6. We'll see you next time on Short Shift ZW. ZW.